Hey, what's up guys? So in today's video, I wanted to talk about Solana. So Solana at the moment is currently trading at $28 and um, that's up 2.5% in the last 24 hours. Total supply is 531 million of which 358 million tokens are currently circulating. So if we take a look at the all time high for this token, that was around $260. So we can see here, and we're currently 90% um, off that value. So massive potential for upside with Solana. As we all know, it's a um, it's a layer one um, proof of stake blockchain, um, very easy to use, great development um, and various other functions and functionality for um, developers on there. So low transaction fees and a lot of transactions going through per second and um, yeah, very attractive from a blockchain perspective and um, from its whole um, NFT ecosystem as well. So if we take a look at the um, Solana website, so if we just follow this through, so powerful for developers, fast for everyone, and that is pretty much the case. Um, you know, it's a lot faster and um, and handles more transactions per second than um, the Ethereum blockchain and um, is very scalable. So if we take, take a look here, transactions per second is um, 4.3K. Uh, total transactions is up in the what's that up in the billions and you can see that it's constantly moving massively um cost per transaction is very very cheap and around 2000 validator nodes so yeah a very popular popular blockchain um so here so if we go down low cost fast decentralized and secure um and also has a big community as well and a lot of developers developing on Solana so um yeah it's it's um it's very attractive for me this is a is a top top token and um like I said definitely one that I'm looking to to load up on um I feel a bit gutted because I wasn't able to get in when the price was very cheap so if we take a look at some of the history here just go back um so I'll, I'll, I'll actually remember seeing this trading at like $2 um, and yeah, so I'm a bit gutted that I didn't get in at those prices, but even still from, um, you know, all time highs of 260 um, being $28 at the moment is still a solid price to get into because, you know, longer term, this is probably going to be a $1,000 um, token, um, if not more, um, depending on where, you know, the project finally ends up. But yeah, um, mega bullish on Solana in the long term. Obviously, nothing that I say in this video is financial advice. Guys, do your own research. Um, but yeah, that you know, I'm DCAing at the moment, loading up, looking to buy Solana and staking as well. So earning those rewards from um, from that um, from those staking pools. Um, if we take a look at Crypto MISO, so we can see here, kind of th this is like the GitHub commits in the last twelve months. Um, if we scroll down here, this is more to do with kind of developer activity and um, to see what, what kind of development is going on um, within these kind of blockchains. Um, so you can see here Solana in the last um, 12 months is currently ranked third and um, they've had 3,800 commits um, on GitHub. So um, you can see here over 100 contributors, um, which shows that there's you know, there's constant development on the Solana ecosystem and the Solana blockchain. So that's always a good sign. And just a bit here on their NFT. So NFT marketplace for Solana is always pretty much booming. Slow down slightly of late, but um, that's pretty much the case with all NFTs at the moment. But from a kind of volume perspective, so 24 hour volume, you can still see 137,000 Solanas are going through as volume seven day volume is, is up in the millions. Um, buyers versus sellers um, from an NFT perspective is currently, is kind of, um, you know, 50-50 from that perspective. You've got traders in the middle there. Um, sales versus listings. So there are a lot of listings at the moment on Solana and um, those that convert to sales are around 32%. But you can see here, um, blue, chip in, uh, blue chip index for Sol and blue chip index for USD. So um, yeah, they, they seem to be pretty um, pretty stable here. So not really much movement of, you know, well, in, in the last kind of 
24 hours if I pull that back to let's let's do the last 90 days so you can see this is the slowdown that I was talking about has kind of slowed down from the, from an NFT perspective as well but that's kind of expected um, you know considering the um, the market circumstances so currently in a bear market and um, yeah everything is kind of slowing down um, from a collections perspective the um, top collections on um, Solana obviously we all know about D God, Utes, Solana Monkey Business so floor price has that today is um, 285 for D Gods um, Utes as well which is 110 and you've got shadowy super coder there as well um, some other popular collections by volume so you can see there you've got Alpha Protocol uh, Meta -ta Tattoo Clubs and so on um, so yeah you know interesting obviously guys do your own research before you look to invest but purely my opinion from a Solano um, Solana you know token and ecosystem and development perspective I'm massively bullish and looking to looking to load up and accumulate and hopefully get those rewards from the from the bull market once that comes around again if we take a look at the charts today so on the daily um, I've got an air 50 day uh, moving average and Bollinger Bands with the stochastic RSI so if we take a look at the the kind of trend um, that we are following obviously it's a downward trend so you can see here we're currently going down um, and I've only kind of pulled that in from August so um, just a few months in but we're currently on a downward trend we are at the bottom of the um, of the Bollinger Bands that you can see there so we're touching the, the bottom of the band um, and also we're kind of just about to see the um, uh, crossover on the um, stochastic RSI. So generally that, that is kind of like a bullish um, bullish shift in the market. Not longer term, but what I'm thinking is that we'll probably end up because we have touched the bottom of the band and um, hit the kind of like the crossover section of the stochastic. I'm thinking that we'll probably end up going up slightly like this um, let me just pull in a I just pull this in I think we'll probably end up going up to around about the um, maybe the 50 day um, moving average again as a resistance level and then potentially back down um, further from there so um, that's kind of like my prediction in the short term obviously longer term the trend is down so we can follow that through with even the moving average here so you can see here the moving average is going down Bollinger Bands are going down and even the candles itself it's not it's obvious there everything is down but in the short term you know based on how these um, how these Bollinger Bands and um, stochastic um, do work and indicate what they indicate for us I think we'll probably end up bouncing up hitting maybe that um, that moving average as support or even just the middle of the um, of the Bollinger Band so that moving average in in between the middle of the Bollinger Band and you know we'll hit that as a resistance level and then back down from there so longer term bearish well when I say longer term bearish that's you know bearish for the kind of like the foreseeable future future at the moment but overall um, you know this is definitely one when the bull market comes around again this um, will be popping off and um, yeah earning those big rewards that we're all looking looking out for so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video quick update on solana there just a little bit about why i am buying and um you know what what i see in terms of value from from the blockchain um and the nft space and just a little bit about the um the token and the price in the short instance anyway so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video guys hit me up in the comments below let me know if you're buying and um yeah, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot.